Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I want to cover the Great Fires. Let's jump right in. We've all heard of the 1871 Chicago Fire, about how the cow tipped over the candle and burned everything down. They even named their soccer team after it, so we've all seen it. The Chicago Fire. Well, one or even two fires isn't very convincing. Fires happen, right? But the Chicago Fire was the only city that burned down, right? Wait. Boston burned down a year later after Chicago okay well that's two fires big deal like I said two fires is nothing accidents happen cows tip over candles and burn everything down once in a while right it was the 1800s what do you expect everything is gonna burn down they didn't have water okay maybe they did have water but they didn't know how to use it to put out a candle well it is kind of weird. They knew how to build these incredible structures, but didn't know how to put out a fire. Well, whatever, let's continue. Oh, uh, what? You're telling me that Seattle burned down in 1889? New York had a great fire? In 1835. What? Pittsburgh had a great fire too? 1845? No way. Portland? 1866. San Francisco, 1851. It destroyed as much as three quarters of San Francisco. Are you joking? What the heck? Okay, well, that is kind of a lot, but who knows? Could be a coincidence, right? Well, why don't we just keep going until it's not a coincidence anymore? Let's do it. Dayton, 1882. The fire burns blocks of downtown Dayton. Guess we'll never see that again. Thanks a lot. St. Louis, Great Fire, 1849. Milwaukee, Great Fire, 1892. More than 440 buildings burned down. Charleston, 1861. What caused it? Cook fire? Lighting this whole city up on fire? It burned over 540 acres? Are you kidding me? Richmond, 1811. A theater fire. Burning everything down. Portsmouth, 1813. Destroyed 500 buildings. Wow. Galveston, 1885. Burned hundreds of homes across 40 city blocks. Who knows what kind of buildings are in here? Who knows what kind of structures we could have seen that they burned down? Atlanta Great Fire, 1917. Let's get Toronto involved in... 1904, destroyed a large section of downtown Toronto. 1904, gone, gone forever. Troy, 1862, gone. Dallas, Texas, 1860, a fire consumed Dallas. Let's stick with Texas. And, of course, Houston in 1912 was burned down. Blaze traveled more than a mile and a half. All of it is gone. Phoenix, 1916. It was caused by a spark from a generator. And the city's gone. Just destroyed. Because of another fire. No way did Philadelphia burn down, too. Yep, it did. This one is the craziest of them all. Uh, it was caused by a lighter that was found near a tree. Give me a break. It's basically every single major city. I think you guys get the point. It is every single major city in the USA. And even Canada. Yet, we only really hear about the one, which is Chicago. Why is that? Can we all agree that 
all of these major cities burning to the ground and destroying all of the stone buildings along the way in a time frame of about 80 years is a little odd. I could be wrong, but I think it may be time that we just agree the controllers destroyed these cities and the ancient buildings that were there. Not some children's story that a cow tipped over the candle and burned down the entire city. Let's get a little deeper. Ellis Island officially opened as an immigration station January 1st, 1892. 1892, on the money, New Year's Day, they begin bringing these people over from Europe. Basically saying to us, hey everyone, come on over now. Everything is safe to look at now after we've burned everything down. Okay, so they burned things down for like a whole century. And then right after that, they say, all right guys, come on over. You know, it's safe basically. Incredible. And for a little bonus, I just wanted to throw in this star fort. I thought it was incredible. I saw it and I think it was cool. I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, it's Fort de Nasa, Senhora de Graça in Portugal. I probably pronounced that wrong, but you guys get the point. I just wanted to let you guys know that I thought that was a really cool picture. And it's interesting. It's one of those things you can only see from an aerial view. So they built it knowing that, you know, you'd have to see it from above. Very, very cool. I'd love to go there one day. Really cool. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys subscribe, like, and comment below. All right. See you guys.